Hello everyone, welcome to replay number 33 of the Battle for Middle Earth 2. Let's find a replay and watch it. Let's do a... Mm. We'll do another men. We'll do a Buckland. Four player free fall. A highly played game type by myself. I play a lot of four player free for all and a lot of 2v2s because those I find most fun and it's all about having fun in my opinion. If you're not having fun, what the hell are you doing? So I'm a destroyer as the men in the top left. Top right we have Arcus as the goblins. Uh, bottom right we have Long Khan as dwarves and bottom left we have a brutal AI. Okay, I did not know there was an AI in this game. Interesting. So, it'll probably be me against an AI versus uh, dwarves against goblins. Unless goblins decide to attack me, or they both decide to attack me. Who knows? Sometimes Long Con sways the opponent to attack me. He tries this in a lot of games. I find it amusing. And sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. Sometimes it backfires and he gets attacked by both of us. So, who knows? There will be no negotiating with this AI opponent. He is a no-nonsense kind of guy. Looks like we got a Gimli from the dwarves over here. As you might expect, Gimli is the best hero of the dwarves. And easy to get to level 5 for his Slayer ability. Which is just extremely good against everything. I have a Boromir, as you might expect. I'm going to want to kill this cave troll and kill the, the lair as well to get to resources. So I can get some tower guards to support my Boromir. And I'm also getting Athelian rangers to support my Boromir. So that's good. Goblins have Goblin King, which is always, always who you want alive if possible. Goblin Spam coming along with him will be useful. It looks like the AI is already attacking the bottom right guy. But he's sending his Gimli at his base. I don't think he... I don't think the dwarves can stop a Gimli. Gimli's doing a lot of damage to the Brutal's Fortress. That just shows you how strong Gimli is. Look at this. Not only is he tanking axes, swords, and the axe from the tower, but he's destroying the base. The AI using its rebuild? Interesting. I don't know this is happening, obviously. I don't have that kind of vision, but I do know there is buildings to destroy from the enemy. So I'm moving down to attack this brutal AI as well. And it looks like he is building, uh, Longcon is building some stuff here as a forward base, more or less. So not building his structures into his base. That can work good and bad in his favor, or out of his favor, it depends. Gorkill capturing the outpost, that'll be very good for them. Extra resources is always welcome. Gimli is just demolishing these dwarves. But I don't think he's able to run away without using Slayer. He does have Slayer, though. He probably should use it. If he used Slayer, he could just turn around and kill all those guys. Why? Well, I'm not sure why that just happened. He could have used Slayer and got away or killed them. So that was kind of a misplay. He must have been really not paying attention to him. Because his fortress is being taken down by the goblins. So, I guess you can understand why he was sidetracked. He clicked over here and then just let him do his thing. So the goblins will take down the dwarves fort. Longcom will be fortressless and possibly dead. Because white is also sieging him over here. He is hanging on by the skin of his teeth here. The AI is almost dead as well though. This last barracks, I believe, is the last building for the dwarves of the AI brutal opponents. 
Unless this thing he's building is... No, oh, he's building an archer range as well. Which I'm going to swiftly destroy. Hopefully not before this is destroyed. That would be kind of amusing. Awesome. Looks like I'm going around destroying his mine shafts first, trying to get power points. The good thing about having AIs in the game, if you don't kill them off, you can farm them for power points, more or less. It's a good strategy to use if you ever play a game with an AI in it. Look, Arcus is a big threat now. He does have a lot of goblin spam and a gore kill. And there's goblins here, there's goblins here, there's everywhere there's goblins. So, that's bad. But Long Kong and the Brutal AI are both about to be defeated. That will leave uh, just me and the goblins very quickly. And Long Kong is barely hanging on here. That's his last building right there. Last two buildings, I should say. He's trying very hard not to die. The Brutal AI has been defeated, though. And it looks like the goblins have decided to back off their attack on the dwarves and go attack me. Which is probably a good idea since I'm the biggest threat now. And he might go and try to get a big surround on my fortress. That would be bad for me. I would love to see me get boiling oil. Oh boy would I love that. But, don't know if that's going to happen. Don't know if it's even needed. Alright, Bormir needs to turn around. Bormir will die. But he is now... not have the troops to kill me. Which is good. Well, I say that, but... He does have quite a few troops still. Aerovala cleaning up a lot of them, though. Hopefully the pikeman might kill this war kill if he's not careful. Trying to rally call to get these guys buffed enough to kill Gorkill. That would be a good win for me, I think. Killing off the enemy Gorkill. Gorkill is level 5, though. He does have his leadership, which is good for him. And I'm losing the last of my Athelians because I'm not sending these guys after them. That's That was a dumb play. Looks like I'm trying to go into a Rohirrim now. Rohirrim would be good against the goblins. He has no counter to this. His biggest counter is Gorkill, which is not really a counter. Dwarves are trying desperately to get back into the game. Since his builders were not killed, he does have the means to do so. He has captured the outpost and he's spreading his mine shafts all around. Looks like everyone's builders are going around. So this won't be as quick of a game as I thought it might be. Although, I say that, goblins are going to finish off the dwarves it looks like. I guess he doesn't want him to rebuild and keep him from building farms over here and such. Which is understandable. Goblins will lose a builder though. Which is good. But the goblin spam will be hard for me to fight, for him to fight as well. Rohirrim will definitely help me. The more Rohirrim I get, I think the better off I'll do. This won't be killing the dwarves here, as they have another building here. I'm not sure if goblins know that or not. But he is at least getting power points. Let's see what the goblins' power points look like. Dwarves have dwarven riches, but they can't use them. That's got to be depressing. I have 14 as well as Rallying Call. He does have Scavenger, so he will get lots of money for his kills. Scavenger is a very good power. Extremely good, in fact. And here I will lose a lot of farms and builders, it looks like. Not the best situation for me to have. But I do have Rohirrim. Rallying Call Rohirrim. Pretty good against those, as it turns out. So all I gotta do is just keep running. 
And they will do the trampling damage for me. I will lose a few here and there, but for the most part, that was pretty crushing blow there. I killed lots of goblins, which are upgraded with weapons, so they do cost a lot more money. Keep that in mind. It's not cheap to upgrade goblin warriors with uh, swords. It's 250 when they're only like 98. 75, whatever, close enough. So yeah, I'd like to see more Rohirrim from myself. Rohirrim are playing a key role here. Always play to the weakness of your opponent. If he doesn't have pikemen, then go heavy on the cavalry. If he doesn't have a... Say he doesn't have... Cavalry, then don't build pikemen. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of another scenario and my mind's drawing a blank for some reason. That looks like this might be the last building of the dwarves. Builder's dead as well. Long Con has been defeated, as you see here. So, it's just me and the goblins now. 1v1 left. And who will be victorious? The goblins or the men? Goblins have potential to win. And potential to lose. I do have boiling oil. So I feel a boiling oil scenario is coming. Which is one of my favorite scenarios. Let him get a giant surround. Oh, he's like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Unfortunately, I won't get them all. But I will get a giant chunk of them. Which is good. I have killed many of them. But I still might lose here. There's still tons of goblin warriors here. I think I will lose my base. Do I have the means to destroy his? Probably not. Do I even have a builder out of my base? Probably not. So it looks like the goblins will take this game. I believe. I don't have any more structures and he does have darkness as well. Which makes things even harder for me. If I would have attacked the goblins sooner with cavalry, I might have been okay. But it's too late now. I uh, can't come back from this one, I don't think. All I have is this and this. I don't see any builders. Oh, there is one building. Looks like I tried to go into their base. But I don't really have the means to kill anything here. He has enough arrow towers and goblin warriors and spider riders to easily outmatch me. So yeah, well played to Arcus with his goblin spam. He has taken this game and claimed victory. So, I hope you enjoyed this game. I will see you in the next replay. Take care.